Hi, welcome back to educator.com. This lesson is going to look quickly at um, just how to add various types of media to your WordPress blog or website. So we've got our example uh, WordPress install here on my domain name and we're going to uh, add some media to a post. So just clicked on posts here and I'm gonna click inside this, uh, this post that I've got, this example post. Um, now all of the media adding uh, parts of WordPress are these links right here. Um, the first one here is for images, the second one is for video, third one is for music or audio, and the last one is just for any sort of document uh, that doesn't fit into the other categories, so something like a PDF or um, a Word document. Um, although it doesn't really matter exactly which of these you use uh, in some cases, because uh, they, they basically all do the same thing, which is they, uh, they will put a link in your uh, post. So I just clicked on the add, the add an image link there, and you'll see there's three options up here. There's three tabs. Um, right now, the auto uh, default is uh, from computer. Then you have from URL, and uh, the last one is from your media library. So, um, let's start with uh, find an image that we want. Um, this is, uh, say we want to put a lolcat in our post. Um, by the way, the I Can Has Cheeseburger website is a WordPress blog. Um, it's a very popular blog and they make money with advertisements um, and it's hosted through WordPress. You can see up here this WordPress information, these WordPress links. So let's say we want to uh, link to this, this page here. So we'll open that in a new tab and then we can grab just the URL of this image. I copied it and now we're going to go back over here and click on from URL and post in that URL that I just grabbed out of the URL bar from the image that I wanted. So this is, uh, you can see it's hosted on WordPress um, and there's this long complicated uh, image name that WordPress has automatically generated but we're actually linking to a separate website um, you could grab this from any web, you could have the URL of any image on any website. One thing to keep in mind is that um, a lot of websites will actually block this. Uh, it's called hot linking. Um, hot linking is when you have uh, on your website uh, an image that is actually hosted uh, by somebody else, not by yourself. So um, that's uh, blocked a lot of times because uh, it decreases their bandwidth um, because you have users that aren't even on their website uh, downloading that image a lot. Um, and so a lot of people will block that. So this won't work with every website. Um, it happens to work with the uh, ICanHasCheeseburger.com website. Um, now I can put in an image title um, and a couple of other things. I can decide how to align it. I'm just going to leave it for now. And then I click Insert into Post. And if you're doing the insert from a URL, what it does is it pastes into your code right here the image. I'll hit enter so you can see it. So this code right here, um, this HTML, you can see the opening caret image, and then it's got some uh, alt information, which you'll I didn't fill out before um, in that little dialog, but would have been filled out with the correct alt information if I had, and then the source. So this is basically uh, a link an image that if you know any HTML you can easily construct yourself without having to use that. Um, we'll show what it looks like just for the fun of it. I just saved it. Now let's view this post in a new window. And now we've got that image right here in this snakes post that we've got. Um, this post is not about snakes so far. I don't know why we called it snakes. Um, 